uh, joining us here on Morning Live. Thank you for having me, Lian. Uh, Pumla, condolences to to you, to the rest of uh, the cast and the crew of Isidingo. I mean, we know that uh, Lesejo worked on the on the show for, for nearly 10 years. Is that correct? Yes, um, she was there for 10 years. Uh, Lady Matarane, the son to Agnes and Zeb. What, what are your memories of her? What, what type of person was she? Uh, <laughs> Lesejo was passionate about everything and um, you know, a true professional. She was a very nice person. You know, um, and when she she loved to chat, she loved to laugh. You know, um, she loved. She had a beautiful, beautiful voice. I will miss that voice. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and you know, a lot of people. Um, I suppose knowing knowing Lesejo for her role in Isidingo, because that really uh, shot her to, to South African stardom, one could say. But she was a talented individual. It wasn't only the, the acting side. I mean, she was an unbelievable songstress as well, uh, a poet, a performer. You name it, she could do it. I mean, did, did, you, did you have the, the chance to, to see all those sides of her? Yes, I did. Um, and, you know, she sang when, we, when Ashley died and, you know, then Lee died in the show. You know, there's a song uh, that we wrote for that story. And she sang it. I mean, it's, it's the most... It, people were, had been calling, wanting that song for years, every time somebody passes on. Yeah. Um, and it's Elisejo's it's, 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 it's voice, you know. And on the show, we did have... Some of the characters who were singing, we have a, an Isidigo album, and she was featured in that album. And her poetry outside the show, you know, I used to go and see her. So, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to be able to see all this talent that she had. Yeah. You know, uh, during, during the time that she was with Isidingo, um, uh, you know, it was, it was later revealed that, that she was actually uh, infected with HIV and AIDS. And she, you know, she, she was coping with it and dealing with it. She, she received, uh, or, or uh, you know, no tr well, treatment, I suppose. She was just dealing with it by herself. Did you ever know uh, on the set? Did you, did you ever sense that she wasn't well? I had no clue. No. I don't, I don't think any of us had a clue. We were as surprised as, as anyone. She kept it to herself, you know, and she does have a right, yeah. you know, but all those years she was there, um, I personally, I had no clue. So when, you know, she disclosed um, after leaving the show, I was really, really shocked. Yeah. Um, I suppose it just showed her strength of character as well. I mean, she just she just carried on regardless and uh, and never let anything get her down. I mean, we, we had the opportunity on Morning Live of interviewing her a couple of times, and she did. She had such a such a wonderful, uh, in, infectious way about her, and I think that that was that perhaps is something that we'll all remember. What what will you remember about her? Um, you know, it's 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 her grace. Um, because I was thinking even, even when, you know, we had discussed the story and, you know, we, Gray and myself were talking to her and her agent about the, the character, where, you know, the character not, um, what we need to do with the character and the character is dying and so on. She took it with such grace mm. and, and professionalism. And she was there every day, you know, never complained, never a negative about the decision because she understood it was about storytelling. It, it was not personal. And for me, that touched me so much from such a young person, such a young woman, and the strength that we're talking about, that mm. she understood that there are journeys in life, and this is her journey, and it's going to end now, and she has another journey you know, going forward. Yeah. So for me, that, that epitomized that, uh, the grace she always had on set. Uh, Pumla, will the, 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 the cast of Isidingo be um, doing anything for her, perhaps remembering her in some way? Um, I'm going to the office now because when the new, I heard the news, it was late in the, in the, evening. You know, in the day yesterday. Yeah. So now I'm going to meet with the management and just discuss what we need to do. Um, you know, as the cast of Isidingo um, and um, what we need to do for the family. 
All right. Pumla, thank you for talking to us. Thank you for your time. And uh, we wish you all, all strength over this time because uh, it's, it's never easy saying goodbye to such a young, beautiful soul. 39 years old. Uh, we saw the passing oh. of Lesejo Mutsepe. Uh, she was part of the cast of Isi Dingo for 10 years. That uh, has been airing here on our sister program for many, many years on SABC3. So, again, deepest condolences to the family and to the friends of Lesejo.